All right, our other top story, the investigation into two infants left alone by some dumpsters at Lamphere High School. We told you about the discovery last night at 11 o'clock, but by noon today, police had identified the parents of those children who are just two years old and just four weeks old. Megan Woods has been on the story since the very beginning for us. So Megan, what is the latest here? Well, Christy, police are still saying this is an ongoing investigation and they now have a 20 year old in custody and charged in connection to this case. And like you mentioned, we now know the ages of those children, a four week old and a two year old. On Saturday afternoon around one, an official driving school instructor stopping at Lamphere High School in Madison Heights for bathroom break stumbled upon the children hidden behind the wall near a back entrance of the school. When I came over here, I'm listening, I'm like, it's like a weird noise, like two cats fighting. I'm like, something's wrong. And so I started making loud noises, kind of scare them off. And I'm like, that's not cats. I'm like, that sounds like a baby. So as I walked over, I looked over here and I didn't see nothing. And so I walked over where I heard the noise from over in the corner and then around behind that wall is where the two infants were at. He called 911 and police and fire arrived on scene and the two young children were taken to the hospital and are in stable condition. One of the children, a four week old, was in a car seat with a cover. The other child is two years old. Police are investigating but say they did identify the parents of the children. A 20 year old woman was taken into custody. Court records show she was arraigned on Tuesday and is facing two counts of abandonment and two counts of second degree child abuse. She is still in custody and is due back in court next week. Now, Michigan does have the safe delivery laws, but that is for children born within uh, three days. And so we take a closer look at that law and the numbers that they're seeing across the state coming up live at five. Reporting live in Madison Heights, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. All right, thanks, Megan. We'll see you tonight at five o'clock. And of course, you can see she's in Madison Heights. You see the weather that's happening outside right now.